Welcome to your daily mist, motivational, inspirational success tips. This is JJ Burden. Yesterday I left a daily mist revolving around motivational Monday. And I decided I'm going to stay with themes this week. Very popular hashtag themes for the day. You know, so if you're someone out there who, who's, you know, confused sometimes what you should post on social media, look up popular hashtags for the day. For instance, today is Tuesday, and probably the most popular one I always see is Transformational Tuesday, meaning that somebody wants to make some kind of change in their life. And so we're going to stay on that topic here today because I've been in the health and wellness industry for many, many years, 15 years. I've had a health and wellness business. It's a, you know, the second business I have along with my professional speaking and motivational business. And if you did not see that podcast, go back and listen to 49. I was getting out some business advice, a lesson I've learned when it comes to being involved in businesses. Anyway, stand with this point of transformational Tuesday. Most of the people I work with, when it comes to making a transformation, it's always about weight loss. They want to lose weight. They want to get healthier. And my job is to set them up on one of our nutritional plans, coach them through it, and help them hit their goals. But one thing I've learned over the years after working with thousands and thousands of people that it it really comes down to six steps. Six steps that's required to really make the transformation you want. You ready for them? Write them down. Here we go. The first one starts with a decision. You have to decide you want to make a change. You know, so many people have that desire. So many people might have others recommending that you've got to make some kind of health change. But if they don't make the decision to do it, it's never going to happen. So first, you got to decide. Number two, you must find a nutritional plan, some type of plan that you can incorporate into your life from day to day that's going to help you get the results you want. Because you probably heard that saying that abs are made in the kitchen, not in the gym. So that's number two, find a good, successful nutritional plan. Number three, let's back that up with the fitness plan. Now, even though you don't have to work out to lose weight and get healthy, but it definitely helps. You've probably heard that 80-20 rule, right? 80% is what you put in your body, but 20% is what you do with your body. And if you want to expedite your results, make sure you are exercising as well. Number four, find an accountability partner. Someone who's going to hold you accountable. Someone's going to push you and motivate you to help you hit that goal. But also someone is going to give you that important feedback that you need at the right time. And it's always good to find someone who's kind of walking the walk and talking the talk. They're setting the example as well. So it might be a friend, a spouse, a family member. Maybe you're part of a community. You know, we work with a lot of different individuals. So we have communities on Facebook to, you know, hold ourselves accountable and push each other and inspire and motivate one another. Or maybe a personal trainer. That's a great accountability partner. Number five, You have to get your mindset right. When I talk about mindset, I've I've mentioned this many times in some of my podcasts, but this is really about how you think. And the important mental process you have to have as you start this long-term vision with a long-term commitment. You have to recognize success is an endurance race. It's not going to happen overnight. You're not going to get the results right away, but just have that vision and anticipate what will happen in the end if you stay the course. And then number six, the final one, you know it's coming. You got to be willing to do the work. You got to do the work. You got to follow the plan. You got to stick the plan, stick with the plan. You got to do what's necessary even when you don't feel like it. Because so many people want that transformation, but not everyone's willing to do what it takes. So did you get those six points? Again, it's decide, make that decision, find a nutritional plan, get on a fitness program, have an accountability partner, get your mindset right, and be willing to do the work. If you do those things, oh, you'll definitely knock that transformation out of the park. There you go. Enjoy the rest of your day and do your best to stay healthy.